is one of the stations that's just about a mile away, and these crews were one of the first to arrive, telling us when they got there, they saw three structures engulfed in flames. I just heard boom. Carla Vega lived here on the 1400 block of Division Street. And I peeked out my head and smelled fire, so I got out of the shower. That was the beginning of what she says is the end. Well, I just saw a bunch of smoke, everybody running. Alfredo Morato said his son and his son's wife were asleep in the house when the fire started around 2.30 Saturday afternoon. It was the dog who alerted them it was time to get out. All the, all the flames came to, to him. Burning his arm, he and another resident were treated at UCSD. This woman was also burned but refused to go to the hospital. When I started throwing water, it got like really bad. Firefighters battled the wind-driven fire for an hour before they got the upper hand. I was scared that my house was going to burn. Carla, one of the lucky ones, but she says they all have to find a new place to live. Everything is replaceable. It's materialistic. Um, my life is not materialistic. That's what matters. I got myself out, my dog. Counting her blessings and thankful for firefighters. And the initial investigation revealed that the fire started in the carport area between those two buildings. And I just spoke with the fire captain here. He says that arson investigators will be back sifting through the rubble on Monday. Reporting live at Oceanside, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News.